How do you know if the person you with while you're on, while you're on the road now? You're on you're down the road. You're down the road. How do you know this person is cheating? And it's very it's very simple, it's a very interesting question. Mr. Ugly. Mr. Ugly himself, I see you. It's a very simple question. But it's it's layered. The first question I decided to ask him was, why would you ask me this question? He said he followed the rumble, which he is on the rumble. And he wanted to this the show to be about that because he's starting to wonder. First of all, Jake, do you want the real shit or you want the fake shit? Which one you want? What is the fake stuff? Hey man, if y'all really evenly yoked. Y'all can still gonna stay together. It don't matter because you trying to be in your business. I could give you the niggerisms from the Jigabuonic order. I could give you those. But I had to feel, I had to feel, I had to feel Jake out first. Jake, I don't know what type of man you are. I don't know what your values are. So it's hard for me to just throw out if your spouse is cheating. So tell me about yourself. Jake. I think that's a fake name. I don't know many niggas named Jake, but whatever. Tell me about yourself. Oh, man, you know, I do OTR. I be out for two weeks. That's regional. That's not OTR, but we'll keep on going. Um, I be out OTR, and it's just like I feel like there's going to be some trust issues because sometimes she don't answer the phone for me. And I was just wondering, how do you know nothing really happened yet? See, when someone tell you nothing really happened yet, nothing really happened yet. So I say, uh, Jake, have you have you been caught doing something you ain't supposed to do? No, I ain't never been caught. Pause. Jake, are 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 you, do you cheat when you're on the road? I mean, I wouldn't call it cheating. Jake, you don't want me to talk about this, do you? I do, man. I do, man. I feel like it'd be a good show. So you want me to, to ask you? Because I gotta make it to you, Jake. You're a man. You're a person who dibs and dabbles, but you want to know if they're cheating is what you're asking me. You want to know the ways to tell if they're cheating, but you're not giving me a straight answer on if you're cheating. What does this tell us? Jake, how do I say this? You have been running the streets. Shout out to the 32 people that are on the rumble. Dot com. Go follow it immediately. We're almost to 500 followers. You are the type of person who gets away with murder but you want to know if she's getting away with and i was gonna say that uh cattleman it sounds like you have a guilty conscience but since you asked the question and you went to the patreon and you paid the hundred dollar a month top tier i'm gonna tell you how you know but i will also i just want to know who i'm talking to you know what i mean i want to know who i'm talking to in your case jake she's cheating on you but let me tell you why she's cheating on you jake She's giving it up. Oh, yeah. It's nasty, too. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, when you leave, he kind of sleeps over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he be using her car. He be duck, duck, goosing her. Superman in her. He lay up in it. I mean, yeah, he's she's really, she's really cheating on you. <laughs> I, I mean, someone say, TV, this is terrible. What do you mean? Yeah, she's definitely cheating. Because what OTR guys don't understand that cheat is that they know. They know. They know, bro. Do y'all have a y'all have a joint uh phone bill? Yeah, she knows. She knows. Y'all argue about this before many times? Yeah, she knows. We ain't argue about it in a minute. <sighs> That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign, Jake. Why? Because that means she don't give a shit no more. She's not arguing with you because the truth is you're going to do what you want to do anyway. You're going to do what you want to do anyway. She knows, man. At this point, y'all need to just stop faking. Stop faking. Just stop faking, bro. You like going down the road and seeing different chicks in different states. Let's be honest about this. Honestly, truckers are known for having chicks in different states, having men in different states, whatever you're into, whatever your preference is, whatever your gender. So that's kind of known from the junk. Right? Man or woman, if you're someone who leaves for a period of time, there's a level of unease with the person who decides to stay home. Then you got a joint account, so she knows. I mean, how she gonna know? Well, I'll break it down how she knows. When you have a joint account with somebody, right now I can go in there and look at my wife's number. This number on my sailor account 
will tell me the text messages, who and from, the calls, who and from, the durations of the calls. It also will tell me the data usage. Yeah. And the data stuff is a little bit more, you know, it's a little bit more complex. Because it don't exactly tell you what's going on, but it tells you something's going on. It doesn't, it doesn't show you, though. It just says data this data that it won't say text message to this number appreciate that dominique for hitting the cash app you actually top it the cash app they don't really like this content it's all love we'll move forward so it it says you know tb sent a text a data something but it doesn't say to who so when you think as long as i do this on this app she don't know what's going on she can tell it also tells what time so if you and your old lady like to play kiss a face all right. So let's say me and Princess AGTV playing Kiss Effect. I tell Princess AGTV, hey, I got to wake up tomorrow. Right? I got to wake up tomorrow. So we on the phone from like 7 to like 8 30, 8 45. And she telling me about her day and saying she missed me and I miss her. We all together. And we, oh, yeah, baby, you know, when I get home, I'm do A, B, C, D, F, G, and I'm put oil change on your car and all that because I love you. But I got to get to bed because, you know, I got to wake up, drop this load like five in the morning. You know, cool. You've been using that excuse for weeks. But when she looks at the bill, it shows when you hung up with her and it shows another number you got on minutes after until 12 in the morning. Hmm. That's how detailed these. I'll say it again. You done told Princess AGTV. That you're getting off, you're going to bed at 8.35, 8.45. But at 8.50, you make another call to a number she doesn't know, to an area code she doesn't know. And you stayed on the phone for an hour and a half, two hours. I'll let that soak. I'll give y'all time to soak because y'all don't even understand what I'm saying. That's how I know you're getting caught because you're not catching what I'm saying. So if you're with the smart chick who's into the game like that, she's not going to come to you. Especially if you've been caught dibbling, dabbling before. She's done. So she just logs that information away. Okay. Unless you get around it like WhatsApp. What y'all don't understand about apps is apps like to do what? Let's stick to the phone number. We'll get to, we'll get to the applications later. What y'all don't understand about this is the uh, phone number tells. Okay, so you're on the phone. From the way that y'all started off, you tell your spouse how you are when you like somebody. Because you did that with them. So when you first got with her, y'all was having phone sex down a roy. She was sending you breast meat. You was sending the meat meat. You know what I'm saying? You was doing all that. I can't wait to get back to Cincinnati and all that. You was on the phone with a four, five, six hours a day. Right? That's what you was doing. Terrence, I see you. You hit the cash app. I appreciate you, Terrence. So you on the phone with her for four, five, six hours a day. You're saying stuff. You're leaving compliments. You miss her. Hey, listen, you said your sister was about to come get you. So I sent you $50. So when you go out, you might, you know, I'll make sure my chick's straight. I'm going to send you 200 So when you go on your trip, you can zap. You're doing all that type of stuff. So she knows how you are when you like somebody. You done got used to her. So now you give her what? Hour? Hour and a half a day. You don't say much on the phone. She can tell. Something's off. So what she starts to do is doing the investigation. When she gets to the phone, she realizes, oh, you're doing this. Then you could be the smart guy to say, I'm going to have a separate phone. I'm going to have a separate phone. Okay. Then she'll notice that the usage on your phone has dropped. She knows you got a second phone. It doesn't work, man. I'm telling you, that doesn't work. This is the stuff. uh, You'll think, oh, you snitching on dudes. Really, I'm snitching on women right now because they know. She's going to look at the usage. Princess AG, Angelique Storm, they're going to look at the usage of the first three months, the last three months, and when you got that phone, they're going to look at the usage up into the current date, and they're going to realize you use 4% of your data on your main phone this month, right? Those previous months, you use 67 gigs a month, 80 gigs, 130 gigs a month. Now you use six gigs? What does that tell her? You got another phone. You got this many text messages. You got that many text messages this month. You stayed on this money. Now she realizes the only time this phone is used is when your company calls because she knows your company number or when she calls. There's only two, three numbers call this. And other than that, you don't touch it. 
All of this is in the bill. This is the shit the women know. They're not dumb, bro. They're not. She's not dumb. She can put it. Okay, cool. So she knows you're not. Bring, there's a, there's another phone. You may hide it through getting the app and then using some other type of you know some other type of internet. You know that that could be that could be useful. But still, she can tell you're not using this phone. But there's a number one way, you know. If you're the type to slip and dip through the world, there's a number one way to know if your person knows you're cheating. There's a number one way to know that your person is cheating. You want to know what that is? I'll wait. There's a number one way to tell. To tell. Y'all can't tell me, can you? I put it behind the truck panel back in the day. I pulled the panel out, slid it back then. <laughs> yeah, that's how I used to do it back when I was a young buck, whippersnapper, thundercat. But I don't do that. I don't bet. Lie like that no more. So it is. The way you know something's wrong is a change in patterns. Their pattern changes. It's a change in patterns, and there's a change in temperament. And the reason you felt so inclined to come to me and ask me is because you didn't know what you were feeling, but what you were feeling was a change in pattern and a change in temperament from her. So it got you thinking, she got to be doing something. She got to be doing something. But see, she already peeped you before you. Because you thought you got your cake and needed to. we truckers. We're on the road. There's a lot of scattered butt cheeks. And we think we can do whatever we want to do. And since we're far away from home, they'll never know. And sometimes you may be right. Right? You think she can't feel it? You think you're a woman who's been messing with you for years can't feel the fact that your erection is not the same as it used to be. You about to get real here. You think she can't feel it? She thinks she can't feel that you want to finish faster now? You think she can't feel you don't want to kiss in the face like that? Before you were sending the money, now you're telling her you ain't got it. She can, she can, she know. She feel your patterns have changed up, bro. You come home, you used to ch be arguing with the DM that you didn't want to go back. Now you're running back in three days instead of staying f over the time in six. You used to go home and stay, you had four days, you stay home six and just argue with the DM down the counter down the river. Now you come home and you leave in two. That's a change in pattern. Now, why are you leaving in two and a half days? Now, I got to get a jump on it because, you know, Bryce is on me. No, doggy. Doggy. No, you're not. Stop. Something's off. Something's off, man. Something, something ain't right. Now, you like, oh, really, I'm going to sleep in the truck, so I'm early the next day. Now, you want to sleep in the truck. He's had to drag you to the truck. <laughs> now, you, I'm going to sleep in the truck to get a jump on it. No, dog. No, no. <laughs> something wrong something is wrong i had to drag you down the truck before i don't really think about I mean, when you was in love with a lot man man i'm about to find me a local job man this shit ain't even worth it bro man. now i was like nah i gotta go you know i got this new account i got to go she could feel that you was putting in apps at these places now you're not interested in putting in apps at these places you wanted to go down old dominion before Remember that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an old minute job. Then I'm going to get my ass mad. And then I'm going to start pulling tanker. That's what you were saying when you was into her. What happened to the tanker drinks? <laughs> what happened to that? You was going to be a fuel hauler. I'm only going to, when you first got with her, Jake, this was the spill. No, nah, I'm going to do this. All I got to do this for about a year or two. And then after that, I'm going to be a fuel hauler. Then we're going to be home and we're going to build a business. That's what you said before. Now it's like, man, they ain't really hanging like that. <laughs> I got to keep going to Atlanta. Ain't this a bitch? Jeez, oh, Joseph. Ain't this a bitch? Now you don't, now you're not interested in that? Nah, I just, I mean, I mean, they ain't hiring me for real. <laughs> right? Like she don't see them unanswered indeed inboxes you've been getting to the email y'all share on the home computer. Hmm? Tommy hit the cash app. I appreciate you, Tommy. He says for the support. A lot of people don't support the channel. They don't hit the cash app. I get it. So she feels it. <laughs> she feels it now. Bad Judah, she knows something's wrong. Then you tell her, I'm going to go lease because then I can come home when I want to, which is a lie. But that's what you say. You go lease. You start making a little bit more money. You start staying out more. When you're out, let's say you're down. Let's say you're down the county. You come from, you come from, give me a state he come from, y'all. I ain't going to say a real state. Y'all give me a state. You come from somewhere Midwest or Eastie. 
Y'all from Ohio, Tennessee. All of a sudden, you interested in Vegas now. Ain't this a bitch? You interested in Vegas. Now you're all about Vegas. Oh, man, I got to unload to Vegas, baby. I got to bring you out here. All of a sudden, you keep going to Vegas. What the hell is going on? You done went out Vegas, got you a light-complected Latino that you're tricking on, by the way. So your money's starting to get spread out. Before you used to come home, you blow two bands, right? Take on a nice dinner, buy some clothes, make sure the car is right. All this stuff, make her understand this. I, I know you dealing with me right now, so I'll make sure you good. You was doing all that. Now, when you, it seemed like you spending the money out there, and you're not spending it here. She figuring it. She putting two and two together. If you ain't spending money on me, I know you ain't saving. <laughs> I know you're not saving, so you spending it somewhere. So what she starts to do is, if she's not in the financial position to just drop you, she starts to screen new candidates that's when you start to feel a difference now for the first couple of months none of these dudes are interesting you understand none of these none of these guys are interesting the first couple of months aiden i see you you hit the cash app none of these guys are interesting the first couple of months ladies i'm about to and i gotta get on y'all ladies so y'all about to show up to defend yourself or it's just gonna be like i'm beating up on y'all because i'm about to snitch on y'all or warning ladies dominique is the one that's top of the cash app with 50 dollars, so i'm gonna knock him off see now when women gets to cheating it gets different yeah so you, you start calling, you telling you she miss you and all this type of shit. I want to talk to you more and everything like that. She used to start doing that for a while, a long time. She feels something's different off with you as she does because women are the feelings vampires most of the time. And you ain't giving up enough feelings. So she's going to seek it elsewhere. So she starts feeling out. And what you don't know about women with friends is their women with friends are just dating systems decentralized. Princess AGTV Angelique got a homegirl that's like, that calls her every once in a while and say, I know someone that's good for you. Yeah. I know somebody that's good for you. That's not true. You can catch women because women have a, a flaw. I got someone that's good for you. Princess, I got someone that's good for you, Angelique. And he's the total opposite of you, Jake. Yeah, he's the total opposite. Jake don't like, you know, Jake don't like touchy-feely movies. He tells her it's interesting to see how women think. One of them niggas. <laughs> right? Jake don't care nothing about no art. He starts breaking down what a Pollock means mentally. Mm-hmm. Jake, you're blue collar, right? Let's get this other dude a name, Jake. So you know who's 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 fucking scraping the bottom of your chick's coochie. Um, he's not he he's not blue collar. This dude, his name is something different, like like uh, Emmanuel. Yeah, Emmanuel's in marketing and communications or something like that. He don't do what you do. He's like total opposite, right? He's total opposite, bro. <laughs> silence, yeah. He's total opposite. What does Jake have you don't have? Jake comes home every day at 5 o'clock. Jake works in the office. No one checks his phone. He can do his office work and talk to her while she's at her office. So all them times you acting like you can't talk to her, guess who's talking to you? Emmanuel. Yeah, Emmanuel's talking to her, you know? You wear Tim's, you wear, you know, construction worker clothes, you wear hood cat clothes. And Emmanuel, he wanted them tight jean, uh, 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 he wanted them, uh, wanted them, them tight jeans, sport coat, salmon shirt with the light brown, with the light brown loafers with the tan sole nigga. He wanted them niggas. Yeah. He wanted them, you know, you work with your hands, but he, he, he go get the, uh, he gets the manicure with the clear gloss coat. One of them cats. Yeah. Yeah. And he has certain watches that match certain outfits. One of them niggas. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The total opposite. Total opposite. Total opposite. Yeah, he's he one of them, them meet me at brunch, hoochie daddy, short baby or your leg niggas. That's, that's, that's who's about to dick your old lady down, bro. Yeah. Because you be gone weeks at a time. So when she's off on the weekend, guess who else is off on the weekend? Emmanuel. 
So when she told you she going to her mama cookout, because you don't like her mama, so you can't check. When she said she going to her mama cookout, come on. This nigga, he 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 taking her to like 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 petting zoos and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And for my studs out there, the same thing go for you. You could be a hood stud and she could be a freaking art major stud and she's still gonna get you right. That's how it works. Yeah. Y'all you care about his work. He's thoughtful. You don't give a shit about art. He was an art minor. You just want to hang with your boys. He more interested in me. That, that's how she going to get you, bro. That's how, that's how man, you're going to get your old lady. I'm trying not to go off cattle, man. I'm sorry. I'm getting triggered. I need to stop. This is getting too real. I don't think I should continue with this. This is honestly. Because <sighs> these niggas, man, they piss me off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Escape room dates. You work for a living. This fool hit buttons and create schedules and hire. He don't really make more money than you. But he still does make more money than you. Let me tell you how. You have to leave to get your check. He don't. He comes home every day, five o'clock. Forget about him. You know, he considers himself, he likes to network for his work. You're an honest man. You work for your shit. But, you know, he 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 does networking events. That's why he's he one of them niggas that listened to Kevin Samuels and was like, you gotta have a gray suit and a black suit and a blue suit. He that cat. You pick the pickup truck, because that's the type of work you do. He one of them cats that got like a, like a C-class Benz. It's a coupe. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the V8, but it's still a Benz. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He one of them dudes. So he pull up in the C, the CSLA. What is that? CSLA? He pull up in the, really it's only a $30,000 Benz. But what do chicks know? It's a Benz. It's not about the cost, it's the class. So he picks her up. When you pick her up, you playing regular shit. He pick her up, he playing the R&B shit his uncle used to play when he used to drive. He ain't even old enough to know that shit. He don't know nothing about no jealousy. But he pull up, it's, baby, won't you just stay for a little bit. Oh, you like old school R&B? Yeah, I like old school R&B. This nigga lying, bro. I'm sorry, I'm getting triggered, bro. I'm getting, I'm getting triggered. I'm getting triggered. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, bro. I gotta control it. I'm getting triggered, bro. I need. I should shut. Hit the cash. I'm done. I'm done. Adam. I, Adam, last person hit the cash. I, I need to stop. I can't give y'all no more drip about the women, bro. I can't do it. Though. I can't do it. Come on, man. Y'all know what we go through is blue collar cats, bro. Y'all don't know, man. DJ Free, no, I ain't DJ Free. Tell me, am I lying, bro? Someone tell me, am I lying, bro? One of them, I, I enjoy museum ass niggas. Ugh. I can't stand them. White dudes have the same thing, but it's a slight bit of scorch difference. See, what happened with the white dudes is, you know, Bill works for a living. This guy has long hair and he like walks around barefoot and he keeps it in a hair at a freaking, a freaking hair bun. And he wants to like organic garden. He wanted them cats. That's their dead. That's their version. And basically what this dude, Emmanuel does is since he ain't the type to really just pull chicks like that. What Emmanuel does is study the dudes that really be getting chicks. And he does everything that the chicks that they complain about. Basically, we call it dirty pimping. He's a dirty pimp. He will let her talk to him about him, then use it to twist it and get in her drawers. He dirty pimping is what he's doing. And you kind of got it coming because you've been sliding out. And when you slide out, Emmanuel's love that because you, you're making her vulnerable. And then he just slides in. Yeah. Yeah. Then he just slides in. Yeah. For a while, they play around and they say, uh, you, know, you know, I know someone that'd be perfect for you. And he'd be like, I ain't interested in her. I ain't interested in her. I ain't interested in her. I ain't interested in her and all that type of stuff. He'll do that for a while. And then she'll be like, why are you ain't interested in her, man? I mean, she really ain't the one I've been crushing on. He really talking about your old lady. So when this guy finally it's a chance, bro. You're going to do something to slip. She's going to figure out you're slipping. And she's going to be distraught. And then he going to put his, he, he going he gonna, he gonna to swing his match. And she, he going to start hitting them. 
you know, he wanted him, you know, you know, I, I don't, I don't like doggy style because it's less intimate niggas. One of them, he, he want to, he want to be, he want to be like, uh, you, you, you tired of the chick because you're cheating on it, Jake. It is what it is. So you got to be tired of it, right? So you hitting it from the back, getting all your freaky shit off. And he, he like slow humping up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he face to face and one of them, why he kissing her, he grab her face and hold that ass nigga. Like he one of them, bro. He's, that's what he's doing. He's holding the hand, oh my God. And he's like slow humping her and saying she beautiful at the same. He one of them cats. Yeah. So now she feels something different. It's like he's more, he's more into me. <laughs> On this lay. Yeah. One of them lay and talk to me after cats. So what happens is it's a better deal. At least it looks that way on the face. So she's calling you less because what he's done that to her. A woman registers this as he loves me. And she starts switching her affections to him. She ain't really built to be cheating and still keep it together. So after a while, you become something to deal with because she just ain't broke it off with you yet. So she becomes short. Arguments become about nothing. She's agreeable in places she shouldn't be, and she's non-agreeable in places she shouldn't be. She's over it, dog. You kind of messed the relationship up, Jake, because, you know, you kind of cheat. Your relationship's over. Let me tell you why this is bad for the woman. Because Emmanuel don't want her like that. Yeah. She's not going to run off with Emmanuel. Emmanuel's playing her for real. Emmanuel don't want her to ever break up with you. Right? He don't want her to ever break up with you. That's the truth. Because if you break up with her, she will become his responsibility. And the truth is, if Emmanuel was this dope, he would already be married. Emmanuel's not married because he don't want to be married. And he just likes playing this game. So since you left your chick vulnerable, Emmanuel swoops in, the situation subsides, and then what ends up happening is Emmanuel's never going to lock it down and she'll end up alone. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. And let me tell you something. He's going to take it down through that. Hard doing her, lubby face, all that, all the time, three, four times a week, nasty. He's going to take it down through that. And when he's about done and she starts asking too many questions or he feels that he's conquered that, he's going to move on. Because the truth is, he just he just gets off on doing this. Like, he doesn't, he don't care. And what you've done is you've let your inhibitions weaken your situation to let that happen. On one hand, it's her fault because she fell for it. On the other hand, it's your fault because you didn't nurture what you thought was important. You lost respect. See, let me tell you what usually happens. It's how you know cheating's coming. When you lose respect for your partner, cheating's coming. You want me to explain? Adam Wells is the last person to hit the cash yet. <laughs> He's the guy to rebirth and the re-education. Adam Wells is the last one to hit the cash yet. Do you want me to explain? When you lose respect for your partner, cheating's coming. Yeah, it's coming. What do you mean by lose respect? Well, you start feeling like, you know, y'all been together four years. Don't nobody want her. Don't nobody want her no more, right? See, women, women do something that they do when they find a person they really, really like like that. They put on something called happy weight. They wear happy clothes that are less revealing. Yeah, because she only got eyes for you. She don't want another nigga looking at her. So she wears happy clothes. That was back on the makeup. That was back on the jewelry. Y'all having so much fun in the beginning. Y'all going out to eat a lot. She going to gain some weight. Happy weight is what they call it. She get comfortable with you. You are, you are an old man. She don't want nobody else looking at her. So the thing... You found her in, you know what I'm saying? I see you, Wendell. The last person at the cash app, he says nothing but the truth. So the stuff, the maxi dress you found her in, as she really gets into you, becomes inappropriate for her to walk around in public. If she loves you like that, she's going to stop working. Now, if you're someone who knows who's adult and you're emotionally sound, you know this is coming. And you appreciate that she do that. Cause I mean, she really only, she only got, she won't want me. She don't care. You know what I'm saying? They don't need to know your old lady got a banging body out of there. Right. So she, she's a freak in the sheets, a lady in the street. She ain't wearing all that. I got a dude already. I don't need to look for a man. That's how she's thinking, you know, and how we know you're not thinking that. Cause you took your money. You ain't got a hell cat, <laughs> bought a new grills, a couple of rings. I'm just really in the car. Ain't nobody stupid. You still doing all the signaling for more people to come to you that's available, right? 
She not doing that. So what you end up doing is what she don't understand is you so freaking shallow. You so stupid that you believe this is part of your personality. So she's really giving you too much is what's happening. But you looking at her is like, you don't really dress like you used to. And you start thinking, don't nobody want her. You got her in the bag. That's not true. That's not true. That's, that's, that's not true. What happens is you've lost respect. You have lost respect for your woman's pool game and you start believing your own hype thinking I got her stuck. She can't do nothing. That's not true, bro. So you, what you just start doing, what do you do with things you lose respect for? You mistreat it. You forget where you left it, right? When you first got your truck, you parked it way out the way. Now you got a, now you done had a truck for five, six years. You park it right in the front. Don't care about it getting hit or nothing. You start doing shit like that. You first got the PS5, you never dropped the controller. Now you drop it every time you play it. That's what's going on. And after a while, you know, she love you like that. She'll take it, she'll take it, she'll take it. But once the you stepping out starts being a suspicion, it weakens her armor for a manual to come in. Because there's a lot of manuals, man. Oh, there's a lot of them, dude. Shit, some Emanuels are already married and they Emanuel and your chick. Why they married? I need to start. I'm doing too much to die. I need to start. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This conversation has no preference. It has no gender. It has no color. Yeah. It can happen to anyone. Anyone. It can happen to anyone. It does not matter. So you're asking me, how do you know when you're an OTR trucker? The truth is you'll never know. That's the truth. It could be happening. Just like she'll never know because you're gone. It could be happening. You don't know. That's the point of us discussing trust. If you're to the point where trust is breaking down in your relationship, you have two options. You could quit your job, go home and work on your relationship. Or you could focus on your career and dump her, get rid of her. Those are your two options. You understand? Latanya A, I see you. Latanya, who is a woman, says, I appreciate you in the content. Latanya, look into the camera. I appreciate you, Sugarfoot. Yeah. So you may think that this, this conversation isn't pertinent to trucking. Bullshit. Trucking allows, trucking allows a dude and a woman who really didn't have pull like that to have pull on the road. Right. To have pull on the road. So that dude that didn't have any game and didn't have any money at home, that got a girlfriend, and that was cool. But what happens is when he gets into the game, his pool caliber goes up. He has disposable income. He travels a little bit more worldly. Yeah. And he comes home and realizes the chicks that didn't want to hit him, they're not making $70,000 a year. They making thirty one. The bills they complain about is nothing to him. So he gets a he gets a boost in and in, in a boost in pep and step and swagger. You understand? Because when he comes back and talk to Keisha, who's don't know what she gonna do about this hundred eighty dollar bill, he got it like that. In turn, dudes get better cars, right? So he get the canaries in a better car. What does he do? Oh, he do some type of trucking thing. He you got more pool in your small town. His self-esteem just goes to the top. And what you realize is that dude was with you because his self-esteem was here, and now his self-esteem is here. And he's thinking, hey, I could pull a better caliber joint joint. That's what he's thinking in his mind. Same thing with women. Women don't be having pull like that outside a truck. That's where the phrase 215 comes from. She's a 215. That means she was a two. She go to orientation. She a 15. It's not. Dudes are super duper freaking thirsty in the trucking industry. So they come in normal and dudes be all on them goes to their head. And that is the real issue. When you say the relationships don't work, of course they don't work. Someone gets a synthetic shot of confidence and starts looking at you different. They're not the same person they was before. And God forbid they start a YouTube. You know, your chick go trucking or you go trucking and you start a YouTube, you get 2,700 followers. You know what I'm saying? I was like, eh. This is what they use the YouTube for. It's a dating app. So when they port their followers from here to Instagram, every single follower can inbox him or her directly. They're immediately a playoff jump. Forget about it. Yeah. They're immediately a player or play at immediately. Because now it's like two, three dudes hollering at them a, a week. Now 40 a day. Same thing with the dudes, chicks they could never walk up to before. You didn't got five, 6,000 subs. You got a bunch of followers. Now, Carlton is pulling finer chicks. He looking at you back. You, you back in Arkansas looking mad 
you know, you looking mad. Uh, what's the word? You looking mad. Um, well, you looking mad frumpy at the house. But he got other Instagram chicks that's attracted to the little bit of attention he's getting. You know, they look a little bit more on par with trends. I'm not going to say you look better. They're just more trendy. And he started thinking, I deserve to have a trendy joint, right? Right. Like I said, it's on both sides. Yeah. So Emmanuel's at home choke slamming your old lady, right? Instagram Twitch Barbie is in Vegas choking your old man's uh, wiener. Deception on both sides. That's why I say this is a funny conversation because you cheat. She knows she cheat. It's that simple. And she deserves to. If you cheat, it was good for the gander, it's good for the goose, I believe. It's what it is. You give it out, she can give it out. That's how it works. That's what's going to happen. Whether it should happen, it, it's irrelevant. So all the dudes watching this right now, if you got a joint somewhere else, there's a chance that some dude is bending your chick over, slapping the baby oil on her butt cheeks, making her look in the mirror, and say, she miss him before she go on them cheeks. That could be happening to you. I mean, sweating is dripping down on her back. He's spitting on her. Like, it's bad. That could be going on with your whole lady right now, dog. Why you, you know what I'm saying? That's the truth. That's the truth. Think about it. Somebody's in your old lady, bro. Right now, grabbing a titty nipple and slapping it. Like, all type of nasty stuff's going on. <laughs> it is, Jonathan. It's very graphic. Doing the ditty, Jim. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Right, you lost value in it. What happens when you had a car? That's true. That is very true. What happened is when you done with that car, Jim, Jonathan, you were tired of that I Rock Z. You were tired of that little coupe you had right after high school. You decided to get another one. As soon as you put it on the sales block, someone bought it. There is no ex that I have that didn't get a new man, period. There's no ex that I have that didn't get a new man. Simple as that. So if you don't want it no more, let it go. Somebody wants it. No matter how fine. This is something I used to say back in the day, Jim. No matter how fine she is, somewhere, somewhere is tired of her. And no matter how, how tired of her you are, someone, somewhere is willing to deal with that problem. So if you're done, be done for real. You do not have a career that allows you to get into domestic issues. Because what's going to happen is you're going to go home, you're going to press her, do all this stuff, get crazy, cops get caught, and you're going to mess your career up. Walmart can't have a domestic violence person at the Walmart DC, because if you'll slap your old lady, you'll slap the terminal manager. It doesn't matter. You can't do it, bro. You can't, you can't have assault charges. You don't have a job like that. You have a federally mandated backed job. You have to have a good record and good records. Aren't slapping your old lady around. Cause she did what you did to her first. That's not how that works in trucking. You have to let go because the woman has a Trump card or whoever's at home has a Trump card. Because I can get you in trouble and ruin your money. Just like that. So if Princess AGTV Angelique Storm go home and they got a nice little young buck and they in love with him and he, they play with her and she decide to key his car and then punch him in the face and scratch his face and the cops get caught, their career is over. Their career is over. You're done. You can't, you, you're not in that position to do that. You can't go home and bust a dude's windows, get in a fight with him, beat the girl up. You can't do that no more. You can't do that no more. That goes for any gender, any race, any speed. It don't matter. You can't do it. You have too much to lose. And usually the person you're talking to don't have as much to lose as you. So what do you do as a trucker? You learn acceptance is what I should preach to you now. Acceptance. You learn if you love something, you let it go. If it comes back to you, it's yours. If your woman love you, let me tell you how you know a woman. Love. When you go OTR, she on that phone with you. So when you wake up, she may stop for 30 minutes and she going to call you back again. She on there trying to help you with problems you having at the shipper and backing. You can tell her everything. I mean, she on the phone with you all day like a job. When your old lady into you, your old lady on the phone with you so much, she get quiet when you walk up to the Securitas lady, and then she say something smart when you walk away from her. And that bitch was in your face, why don't she? That's how you know. That's how you know. And when your woman's into you and you decide to go trucking, she learns trucking. She understands what a what a 1099, she understands what a, what a 90 is. She knows what a 02 is. She knows what a consignee is. She knows what, what factoring is. 
she understands the laws of the state. She understands where all of the freaking um, DOT places are. Oh, you're going into California. She knows what a bridge law is. Don't even got a CDL because that's how much she's paying attention to what the hell's going on with you. She know, you do your pre-trip. She knows all that shit. She helping you. St- Come on, princess. She's helping you stay up when you are sleepy. You understand me? My old lady knows when I'm getting paid, my pay rate, bonuses, bonuses, requirements, the name of my DM, the name of the actual fleet manager, the owner of the company, what truck I drive, the number. She's playing. Nuts. She also knows every chick's name probably in this chat. You know why? Because she's paying attention. When you're into your person, you pay attention. When you're over it, you stop paying attention. And that leaves the opening. Because if you was paying attention, you would have slapped the manual down immediately. Who this nigga? Why he why he so into you? But like you did with Nintendo cartridges you didn't want to play no more. You forgot you had it. And your little cousin that came over, he always took your Mega Man cartridge because you got tired of playing it. And you stopped checking for it. So it'd be three weeks later by the time you know he done took your Mega Man cartridge, doggy. Now you don't even know what's going on because you ain't checking on it. That's how you know. How do you know she's cheating? Because if you were paying attention to her, you would know. You would know. You would know. The reason you're asking me, how do I know she's cheating? Because you ain't been paying attention in a great deal of time. And now you are nervous. That Emmanuel got his finger in your old lady butt. Got his thumb in the butt, hitting that joint from the back. And you can't stop it. Because you got to keep driving. (laughs) <laughs> now you calling a lot and she's saying she busy. It's a rap, dog. You forget about it, man. You got that joint. You laying in that joint, dog. You laying in it. <laughs> I hate to hear you, bro. He laying in it. Yeah. And he he hitting at the downtown hotel too. He ain't taking no holiday in. He took it to the boutique joint with the weird name like Shamalans or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's scratching that joint, bro. You might, he, he, you might get up, bro. <laughs> He's stretching that joint out. Do you hear me? He's stretching that joint out. Yo, yo, yeah. Them boys cheat on the road, man. Cause I mean, what you you stretching shit out? Don't act like we don't. Come on, man. All this scattered booty out here. With the dawn of corporate going down the drain, there's less sit down corporate jobs. There's more women doing what? Oh, and who got a couple dollars? OTR. All of y'all know every OnlyFans you watch, you can inbox and offer a bigger number and get them cheeks. They selling vagina from here back down the Chattatoochee River, and it's cheap, expensive, mid, all type. Different ages, different fetishes, they're everywhere. And you on the road having a ball. You're in these lives looking at all the chicks commenting, trying to go to their YouTube and figure out if they got an IG. You think these chicks ain't got no inboxes from y'all that I don't know about? I know that's what you're doing. You think I don't know that when I, when I say these women's name, y'all don't go to their IG and inbox some shit? Copy their name, see if it's the same on IG. Go to their about me, hope they do content. Come on. Hmm? You think I don't know that? And you think I don't know some of these chicks is entertaining your conversation? Hmm? Should we move to the second hour and have y'all call in? Doggy, nappy, I see you, goodness. Where you been at, Sugarfoot? Hmm? You think we think we all know that? That y'all use these chat places as a dating app? Hmm? Should we move to the second hour and allow people to call in and have this? conversation i'll tell you how we get to that hour somebody big money grips send 250 to the cash app for the second hour and i'll let you call in and tell me what it is about let's see if it happens special thanks to Corey wilson just signed up for the patreon he will get be able to message me directly he also will be able to see videos before they come out weeks sometimes months before they come out also we're at TB Uncut, we're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what Rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech, where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed a live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for Rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit 
Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TV Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Just Phil TV coming to you from the Trucker Report, exclusively on Rumble with Trucker Brown. You know where to hit it, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Find us exclusively on Rumble if you want to catch these episodes live. He's a YouTuber that specializes in trucking. Again, a very niche market, but he does quite well on the platform. Give him a round of applause. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon and it does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is linked at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon. Was gonna come in here and say some crazy stuff. I assume that, but I sent the call in link for you to say what you feel. This is a chance for you to go against what I am saying or agree with what I'm saying, or tell me a story about your cheating scandal. What happened to you? Were you the cheater? Were you the cheaty? If that's how you can say that. Which one was it? But I have dropped the call in link. I believe this is an interesting topic because how dare we as cheating on the road truckers actually have the audacity to try to stop somebody. Tavon Moore, you're more than welcome to come in and keep it 1000. You're more than welcome. Trucker Brown, AKA I see you. So what was I saying? That was a lie. Y'all tell me this is y'all hour. You might as well speak. I can just shut down now. Which one? Ladies, this is your chance to call in. Angelique, Princess AG, hit the link. The link's right there. You just let dudes come in here. Nappy got goodness. You just let guys come in here. They're going to say what they want to say, and you're not going to be represented. You understand? You're not going to be represented. It's just going to be a sausage fest. And they're going to say whatever they want to say, damaging about women they want. That's what's going to happen. If you're trying to figure out how to use StreamYard, it's simple. You hit the link, attach it to your phone, and it brings you in. And you can talk to me. You don't got to be at a computer. You're a cattleman. What's the problem? I know you ain't scared to say how you feel. These boys be locked in these trucks buying only fan butt. That's crazy. Hello? Dave the trucker. Can you hear us? Yep, I can hear you. What's going on, big money? Tell Nothing me where I was lying at. Yeah, I think that when these guys need to learn the women that they're dealing with, uh, I mean, my opinion, if you OTR, you have no reason trying to force a relationship. You leaving her at the house, you left her at the house, man. It's mm. just that simple, man. She going to do what she going to do. <laughs> you can't stop no woman, in this, especially nowadays. You can't stop her from doing what she want to do at all and you yeah uh, that hey, i can't i hey i can't just i don't disagree with you i don't they're their own person yeah um yeah, man. especially oh. you ain't at home you got a bad attitude you're always you know most of us are cheaters you you cheating all the time you always getting caught up yeah she's gonna do what she want to do when she at the house of course and then take your money when you come back home with all that money you done made now she needs some money you're gonna cash out and then you gotta leave in two days before she's tired of you and then buddy gonna be right back in your house. So <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's the truth though. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, all right, I'm I'm gonna have to play devil's advocate on a lot of this shit. So you know that. Okay, I got you. So you don't think that if you treated her better, you could stop Buddy from getting in your house? I mean, we do a lot of truckers. All we already taking care of the house, paying all the bills. The co- nine times out of ten, the car she got, you know, you pay for everything. You take care of everything, and she's still gonna do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like it just depends on the quality of woman you got. It's just it it just come with the territory of OTR. You're never there, and their mind is gonna wonder. If you don't have nothing for her to do, or anything. <laughs> To keep her mind on what you need her to do, yeah, she's going to do what she want to do, period. 
So they just giving the butt out without a license? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. They are Taco Bell Tom at your crib. Yeah, man. He ain't got not, half of what you got. Beating the down. And it's, you know, it's okay. You know, it's just what it is. I've been doing, I've been over the road <laughs> 10 years, man. And I done been through it all with this, man. You had someone cheat on Mo- yeah, I done had that happen to me before. Man, got my, you know, got my little chick stole, man. Being at work, too focused on these trucks and worrying about making this money, man. Yeah, man, We're not worrying about her. Like I said, we, we so focused on the road, so focused on doing everything that we need to do. Buddy gonna find his way in, man. It done happened <laughs> to me before. It happened to the best. <laughs> it happened to the best oh, of us, oh. you know? So... How she explain this? You just don't pay attention to me enough? No, nah, you gonna know. Like you say, you 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 said it all. Them phone calls gonna stop coming. You you like, damn, she used to call me at 11.30 every day. Now them calls started to come at 1.15. Then they just gonna stop coming. Then you gonna come home and, and some shit's gonna be different. Uh, I'm sorry for cuz, but stuff yeah. gonna be different. Stuff <laughs> gonna be different. That shit a little bit looser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brother. Also, yeah, bro. man. And then you not yeah. taking care of yourself. If you out here just eating that pilot, loves, not watching your weight, not watching your image, yeah, yeah. Time with the Hellcat, that's hometown, that, you know, you going to pull up with the Dior on, dripping, smelling good, and he going to take your chick, man. And then when you come home, it's like I said, you're just going to be, <laughs> you're going to facilitate her. You're going to pay for her lifestyle. I hate to be that way, but. So yeah. how long was he cheating till you caught on and got rid of him? I know this hard for you to talk about. I don't about, know. I know like I said, I, I can't, I couldn't tell you. It was just, you know, maybe it would have been, it could have been the entire time. I don't know. But like I said, as an OTR driver, you can only know so much. You only at the house for 48 hours and you're going to sleep for a majority of that. So it could have been the entire time. It could have been, you know, but I told that I got told I was getting cheated on. It ain't nothing you, like you said, ain't nothing you could do. You just got to stay strong behind that wheel. <laughs> and keep and keep moving these people freight and be quiet about it. you know that's, that's all, that's hey, all buddy, it duck, duck, goose in the low, bro. That's yeah right. brother yeah she yeah they have them late nights yeah brother you think that it's the middle of the winter time you think and it's getting dark early you think she at home being good Hold was on, that so was idle mind was you cheating no be real was i cheating yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. keep it real. Yeah, I cannot man. Yeah. feel sorry for you if you was cheating. You can't. Man. You can't feel. So, I'm not. I don't want nobody to feel. But I'm just letting these. Count. This is a fair warning. If you're gonna be doing your dirt and you on this highway, <laughs> just you know, Damn, don't expect man. loyalty. Don't expect loyalty back at the house. This, especially if you done got caught before. You got caught before. You might as well just. It's over, man. It's over, dog. Just, 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 just drive these people. Tr- yeah, I done got caught before. I ain't How perfect. You get caught on the road, though. Boy, it's that phone. You come back in that house, boy. That phone. If you don't get everything lined up before you come back, this was early in my career. If you don't fix that phone before you come back in the house, and, and a message come through, or she see what you've been doing, you ain't deleted everything. You done. You cook. You done. It's <laughs> a bit of mess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bit of mess. I gotta hear this. Shit. <laughs> so you was at the crib sitting on the couch and the phone went off? Boy, my, I got the type that wait till you go to sleep, player. She's going to wait till you good, deep in that good ass sleep. She done gave you what you needed, you know, now let you bust it down and she's going to go through that phone. And if she finds something that, you know, most cats going to be like, oh, I got a phone on the truck. Like, yeah, that's smart. I didn't, I wasn't thinking like that. So and she went yeah. through the phone and found pictures. I mean, how bad was it? It was just messages, you know. Me telling them, hey, I'm, I'm going, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up before I go through to the house. Like, oh. they find stuff, man. Yeah, brother. Oh. You know, I'm the type that, you know, <laughs> do what I got to do, then shoot it to the house. And, yeah, I got caught up doing that shit. And, so and I ain't... you was hitting chicks in the hometown for you. So you was saying, I'm coming home Tuesday, but was there Sunday? Yes, yeah, sir, Paulie. <laughs> yes, sir. Jeez, yeah, man. Like I say, yeah, but it come with you know the territory of, like you say, you start making a few more dollars and you, you attract them, you know, to a, a lot more women. Especially if you, I had women before trucking, so it ain't it really never been that hard. Through. Yeah, man, it ain't never really been that hard. But it just it made me a, <laughs> it made me more more of what I was. I say that. Damn, bro.
And once she, once she found you cheating, you pretty much knew it's, it's, it's it. Boy, she was she was getting that back broke off, boy. Them phone calls start coming during the daytime. Yeah, I was hurt. Boy, don't get me wrong. You cheating, but you know, damn, that was my favorite one. You know, but hey, it is what it <laughs> is. We gotta slow it down. <laughs> Yo, when you figured it out, how'd you feel, bro? Man, it. it I was okay. I know I, what I had done. So if you a man and you you step into it and you you know you just respect what you did, you know you dead wrong. I was dead wrong. So, so you you couldn't even act up about it, like no, nah, you ain't yeah. What like? But did you say act up and lose my CDL trying to fight and yell and she just got to call the police and now I'm <clears throat> I'm back at the crib working at the warehouse. I'm good. I'm just gonna keep on pushing. Just so you just drop have to move me. your stuff out and get your car back? Or what's nah, my house is my house player. She she, she gonna leave. <laughs> so it's time to go. Yeah, it's time for us to go ahead and close this up. Go on, go our separate way. That's so the have easiest you way. Her in the recent years since you've been, you know, you've been a veteran. Mm. Did yeah. you leave it open to where you can still hit it every once in a while? Oh, oh, yeah, swear to God. Swear to God. Yeah. Damn, it open. Bro. Yeah, man. But I, I know. It wouldn't have to be like this if you would have acted right. Yeah, you got to be good. If you would have just uh, been good and you, you, I can't trust you. But it seemed like it make them want you more when they find like you find out you ain't no good. Now they they gonna, you know, they gonna do what they do, but you still gonna have access to them. Like I say, just a certain type of guys. Like you a good man, TV. I look at you, <laughs> you a good man, dog. So I know that this stuff, <laughs> this ain't nothing that you would accept. <laughs> Nothing that you would agree with, and nothing that right. you like. I, you know, just watching you over the years, one, so, bro. Yeah, but yeah, that's kind of how it is out here right now, man. Hold <laughs> on, I, I got a woman done called in. You done blew the Ooh, show up, gonna... bro. Hold on, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, Dave. <laughs> Miss Donetta. Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, TV. Hey, how chat. You, you see what I'm dealing with? I knew he was cheating. I said Dave would cheat on that girl. Yeah, <laughs> I'm nervous right now, y'all. This is my first time calling in. And uh, I said I wasn't going to call in because I'm shy, but here I am. So what's up? I got a, I got a question. Huh? Now, are you are you a driver or are you the stay-at-home wife? I'm a driver. You're a driver, so. Yeah, you, I've been driving for four years. Four years. Do you think your dude at the house is cheating? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, um, before I, before I started driving, um, we got, we, you know, we got married and everything, and we both had got our CDLs and started team driving, but um, he called himself, couldn't stay on the truck with me 24-7, and so we separated, got on different trucks, and, you know, and that was kind of weird, but then um, he lost his CDLs for um, doing drugs, Right. <laughs> and so he had to kind of get, you know, stay at home, but I was not about to stop driving. And so I was on a, a route to where I'm home every other night. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that's cool. And then um, one one day I, I'm at home and I get up like three in the morning and I'm on my way downstairs and I hear him on the phone. I'm like, hmm, who, who are you talking to? You know, he, he sees me. He's intoxicated, by the way. He hurry up and hang up. The phone, the girl calls back. I pick up. She was like, oh, I know where you live and everything. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what y'all do? <laughs> you know, stupid question. But she's like, what? We f and I'm like, oh my God. You know, Hello, was he so, doing in the house now? In, in my house that I got for him and his son. Oh my. Yeah, 10 years. And so he he's intoxicated. And I'm asking him questions and he's not holding back. He's telling me where, how, why, you know, everything. Oh and so God. it's just like, wow, that is the most devastating news that anybody could hear. So yeah, I know that driving is. trucks. That's yeah, crazy. driving trucks, it's a different lifestyle than, you know, not driving trucks. And you can't really put the two together unless it's an understanding, you know. But he knew. Why the heck did he understand? <laughs> yeah, he should have been down for the calls, bro, because he was doing it. But see, uh, there's a few, there's a few red flags, if I may, right here. First of all, if your old lady a better trucker than you, hmm. she need to get rid of you. 
If she can yeah. drive a drive shift better than you, if she can handle her license and keep it better than you, you got less responsibilities than him and he still couldn't keep his license. I think you were exactly. That. Yeah, I've come to find out um he was in competition with me. Like he was he was jealous that I was able to continue driving and, you know, save up money and purchase homes and things of that nature. And I'm like, you shouldn't be jealous of me. We're supposed to be doing this as a team. Yeah, I'm giving it to you. I'm getting the crib for you. <laughs> right. So I guess it turned into more of um resent. He resented you. Yeah, pretty much. And that's what um a lot of us women out here who are driving trucks and you know, these men look at us as independent women. And you know, they feel like they don't have to do that much work because, you know, we got the finances coming in, you know, we don't have to make sure we got the money because we know she got it, you know, stuff like that. And it takes the responsibility of a man away from them that's what i think some man yeah, feels I'm like woman, my old lady got a license and oh uh, it never took my responsibility away like if she's you know she can we both can drive she right. has an excellent record i have an excellent record i didn't lose my license she didn't lose her license you right I mean? y'all like, work as a team we work as a team so my thing is knowing that now would you prefer to have like if 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 it presented itself to you where you could have someone on a truck and he because that whole I can't see you every day shit that'd have been it for me. Yeah, I want my lady on a truck me every day. <laughs> so and wait, you don't believe in you don't believe in uh, people needing a little space apart, no. being up on each other every single day, twenty four seven. Because you know, if if you're not driving trucks and you're at home, you both leave to go to work, but then you come home, you know, that night. Yeah. That's all cute and dandy, Danetta, but <laughs> you stay on troll me. I don't play that shit. We yeah. Together. And then if yeah. you need some time, you can go to the movies for two hours or something, but that's about it. Right. Ain't, and it better about it that be a movie I want to see because I'm coming. <laughs> I don't believe in that, bro. That's some shit they push on us. I'll give you a perfect example. Your grandma and granddaddy back in the day didn't believe in that. Hmm. They matter of fact, they shared one house line. Yeah. That's true. That was it. It, it was and all this. Oh, I need space for what? If we have a goal, the goal is so high that there is no time for that. We together. If we together, mm-hmm. we will be together. That's true. That's absolutely true. I mean, it, it, it got to be. You got to be on the same blueprint. Like you know, I think I I had a. I was creating a blueprint unknowingly, unwillingly, you know, because he didn't have one. And so it's like he kind of had to fall on mines. And so I think it made him feel less of a man because I, when I bought a house, oh, but this isn't really my house because you bought it. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? So I don't know. That's, That's my great. experience, TV, man. Yeah, he he's a different man, kind of you, person. But you need, you need to pick up another driver, man, because there's dudes out there watching that be like, mm-hmm. "Man, I sit on a truck." It's your shit. What I'm getting off of? I can't. You know good to be to I have don't a see. Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying. People, when we when he has talking about a driver, he has to wipe with you, bro. You lucky, you know, that nigga. So I'm just all like, well, what's wrong? What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? And so. I don't mm-hmm. know, but it's being just... out here, it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, being out here is is like you see drivers and things of that nature, but the the men drivers don't really kind of pay attention if I'm not out here in hoochie shorts and all this makeup and weaves and stuff like here out. If I'm out here in just some regular work clothes and stuff like that, like the men don't look my way and stuff, so. It's it's not that easy. It's always oh, women drivers out here, and y'all men see them and stuff like that. They look past us when we're dressed normal. <laughs> well, a lot a lot of that is that it's become so inappropriate to come on to y'all. You see, what I'm saying it's so inappropriate that it don't matter if you are at a club, men are not really trying to come on because they done made it so inappropriate to come on to y'all. Like I remember this one girl I was trying to help. She was struggling you know, with the, um, the landing gear. So I walk up on her, come from get my paperwork. And I, before I could even say anything, she was like, no, you can't have my number. Like she just went off. <laughs> oh, wow. You are struggling right now. I was just going to do your little landing gear for you. 
Yeah. Well, that I can see that. For a while. Like, oh, I can't walk up. You know what I'm saying? I can't. It ain't. It is not appropriate to walk up to you while you're at work. So right. you have to give me. You have to give me some eye signals. So then, that if we both at the truck stop, right? I'm fueling, and you fueling. You gonna have to like look past your pump and give me the eye, like for me to say something. Right. Like, hey, <laughs> That's bro. scary. It shouldn't be like that. What you? It shouldn't. But the, the, I can't just walk up to you and you gonna be like, oh creep! Look at this dude all over. Me. <laughs> Hold on. You, know you don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect. So you kind of just got to, you don't got to give like an obvious eye, but you got to give like a lingering eye. Like if you were to say something to me, I'd give you my number. Like you got to give me something. I'm going in a tunnel TV, TV. So if it goes out, then you can let the lens call her in. Oh, but I'm going to so still talk. Oh, yeah. Don't want to out on you. Damn, bro. Dave, it's bad out here, bro. <laughs> I mean, yep. homie lost the license, bro. Yeah, man, doing them drugs. You always say stay away from them drugs. He couldn't do it, man. Most, a lot of drivers can't do it. I don't understand I why it's so hard to stay away from the drugs, bro. Man, losing them CDLs, man. They want to go back and work at the warehouse. That's all it is. That's <laughs> I it. Mean, you had a chick on the truck with you. With you. You ain't have to oh, worry man. about cheating or nothing. She's right there. Man, and I, that truck would have been rocking, and we would have been making money. <laughs> That's that, like, I don't get it. Like most chick, like my chick that I'm with now, she won't. Need, she ain't even interested in it. Like, uh, I, I'm like, get your CDL, come out with me. She's like, nah. But to have a chick that's down to be in the truck, and y'all could just go, and you ain't got to worry about coming back to the house, you yeah. know, ever. You could come back. Hey, we could stay gone four months, pretty much on the damn vacation. And then go back to the house, like just to check up on stuff. Well, but I don't know. Some cats be having it. They be what? having it. Why she ain't interested in doing it? What? what, what? She make more money than me. Oh yeah, you don't know I mean? she, yeah. she ain't about to go through all that pain, and she already uh, get money, bro. Yeah, she she get uh, mental health days and all that at her job. I don't so get none of that over The question is why you ain't went home. Is the question? She don't flip it on you. Yeah, man. That, when we went home, man, I, I like what I I love what I do. I've always loved what I do, so I ain't changing it. Man, <laughs> I ain't trying to be up in that office all day dealing with them folks, man, <laughs> telling me what to do. What you say, sweeping the wa- the warehouse floor with a CDL? <laughs> I ain't on that, brother. I'm good. Y'all can have all that. <laughs> so you trying to tell me you got a big crib making big money, and yeah. you ain't going I'm going to drive this truck, TV. Damn. I'm going to enjoy this OTR lifestyle. I, I love it. You know, I get through the house, but she understand though. She understand this is what I love to do. So she ain't gonna get in the way of that. And she busy too. She got shit to do. Yeah, she, to she got real too. work. Yeah, she get she bring work home. So yeah. So yeah, you just gotta, it, you gotta it, keep you gotta keep focus on her, bro. You gotta make sure she knows she's important, bro. That's one thing I told yeah, her. Yeah, she, I don't yeah. do that. I don't act like you're not important to me. I don't I don't play that game. Mm-mm, no, that's most important. Outside of this truck, when I get out this truck, yeah, that's a most important thing to me outside of what I'm doing now, like my family and my children. So, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah that that's sense, that's what bro. we out here for, though, ain't it? Or we, you know, but you say they be out here buying cars, you know, just to get a Hellcat, you know, overpriced clothes and stuff. Like, I don't get that, but. You got beef hey. in the streets, bro. Princess AG <laughs> says, <laughs> are you cheating on this one? Mm. No, nah, I ain't doing that. Man, I can't have no level of redemption. I can't change. <laughs> I mean, she asked you. You did change. She asked me. No, nah, I've changed. Yeah, I've changed. I'm a better man now. Like, it, you you, gonna, you will eventually get tired of grenading your family just to get some outside cheeks. When you got cheeks at the house, man, just, just, just take care of that home. What's in that house, man? I, yeah. I haven't done that. I've been in situations where I haven't done that. So, yeah, you're going to keep grenading your family, ruin your life, having to meet, go through meeting a new girl and doing that all over again. You might as well, if you got a good one, stick with her. Like, you got a woman willing to get in a truck with you and work with you, stick with her. Like, stay with her. I, them the guys I really don't understand. You cheating on a woman that got her CDL and she got you a crib? Boy, you, yeah, man. Yeah, you lost, bro. You, you lost, lost out here, boy. Yeah, wasting your you time. You a crib, bro, and you, you done did that, bro. Lost, yeah, my guy. 
Yeah, man. And, and, and it's guys like that that, you know, she probably find it hard to do it for the next man. If she coming to his life, she, she going to come in with a level of distrust. So you, the next man going to have to fix all it. Man, if I lost my CDL and I was on the net of truck, I'd have told her, look, we're going to go oversize. I'm going to do all the back trailer work and you drive. Yeah, man. Most men got too much pride for that. You a good dude, man. See, most men ain't got, they ain't got that. Like, man, look, see, you got the CDL. Let me get through this SAP program and get back behind the wheel. Right. And I'm going to help. Yeah, like, they don't. Or, or go to the crib and it, it just go do something that, you know, go to the crib and, and make money while you getting through the SAP situation so you can get back in the seat, man. Right. But I don't get it, though. I, no, I don't get no. that. They're not going to do that, bro. Like, that that's the truth. They're not, they not going to handle business in that way because most people, like I tell them, they childish and they believe that running the streets is the best thing in the world. But I be trying to tell them, these streets is treacherous, bro. This is not a time to be in the streets, bro. I heard they got, like, two and three for ones. You can get two, three for one uh, diseases just by, you know, that's playing it. in the street. They just, it's just <laughs> a roll of the dice, and it's like herpes sinagonorrhea immediately. Yeah. Or look at the freaking numbers yeah, in Houston, bro. It's like, yo, you can't do that. Yeah, and then you I got like with her, she like she got money, like she she gonna bring it in, she get in the bag. Like I, I don't get that, man. Like I ain't messing up with the woman that I'm with now, but I don't get how a woman could, you know, do that much and show you that much in that many ways. Like, hey, I'm hurt. I got your back, and you still right. kind of just stab her in the back. That show that say more about you as a man. Uh-huh. Then it do it. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't, man, like, I couldn't be your homeboy for real. Because if you do that to somebody doing that to you, you you'll definitely stab me in the back, bro. Yeah, man, you 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 take my steel, hunt my sister if you would do some stuff like that, man. You know, like if you that type of dude. Bread, I don't know. And she still got wear the little freaky shit for you. She still wear makeup, all the freaky shit you like, and you you yeah. messed it up because you mad at yourself. You mess your license up, and you going to mess it up because you mess it up. How you going to be mad at me? I ain't messing my life. You did that. I was dealing with a chick that left me because I lost my – like, I, I went through a position where I lost my job. She left me for that. Like, so it should let you know, like, she's staying – even with the CDL situation. Like, you see what I'm saying? You lost your CDL, but she ain't be like, oh, you – I ain't dealing with you no more. She's going to like, let's work this out. Go to the crib. Let's – I'm gonna get you in somewhere where you can like. She found a way for you, man. So that that let you know what yeah. quality or what level of certain what dudes be at. That's where they yeah. be at. They don't. You a child, bro, and and that's what I tell people is like, dog, man. I don't even play like that. Dog. It's like it's too much in the it's too much in the street for me. And you know, I watch my my parents, my stepfather, my mom be together, and I just feel like I just feel like this. You don't need a partner. Shit is whack, nigga. Like, who the fuck want to be running around this joint alone all the time? Ain't got no butt you can hit. Nope. I, I lose some money. Can't can't help me on the rent at all. You can't. Hey man, cover my insurance for me real quick because I'm doing bad. You can't. You just alone mm-hmm. and be swinging in the dark. You, you jumping for chick to chick, man. And I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit. This is gonna cost you. That's gonna cost you some money, man. Just being free and man, you will spend so that money getting them hotel rooms. Constantly jumping in rental cars, man. You, man, I, I, the year I, I think I cheated the most. I, I grossed at the company that I was working with like 175. I spent all of it just chasing that, going out, doing this, doing that, doing this, running behind chicks. I got seven, eight, nine, ten chick, her chick, their chick in Texas, in St. Louis. Like, you know, I'm from St. Louis, so. Yeah, you will blow your money and you will be broke and you will be yeah, one of these cats online. Or to, fa- to facilitate the meetup costs money. Yeah. It all costs money. I mean, yeah, some man. dudes just enter that, but it's like, bro, at what point does it get old? Like, I mean, at what co- it get old? They just ain't had enough of it yet. It get old. Yeah, it's like you're gonna start hearing the same excuses. You're gonna start seeing the same positions, the same tattoos. You're gonna start meeting the same people. woman over and over. Over and you're gonna keep meeting the same woman. I think they don't understand it. You're gonna keep meeting the same type of woman. You, you're over just gonna keep meeting her over and over and over, just different versions, different variants. That's why I say, bro, it's like I'm I'm Gucci, man. All the whole weave and make I don't like weave and makeup anyway. So it's like that ain't gonna attract me. Weave and makeup is yeah. gonna turn me the fuck off. I'm not interested in none of that. I don't like my old lady to have blonde hair or none of that shit. 
I, I, like, I, I like a regular black earth woman. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't need nothing synthetic. I don't need you to uh I don't need you to be going out like that because I don't go out like that. I don't drink. Mm-hmm. You can drink, but I don't drink. You yeah. So I feel I just, you on that. I don't either. I don't do I, that neither. So. And especially when you're trucking, when you're driving trucks, you're going to stop drinking anyway because you, you can't drink that much. So you're going to lose a taste for it. I thought you weren't even supposed to have it. The law said you weren't even supposed to have that stuff on the truck. You're not. But dudes get caught with it every day. <laughs> yeah, slow, special. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They get caught with it every day. And it's like, bro, was it worth that much for that mm-hmm. little? That's, that's what I tell you. If you go out on the road for 30 days and you have to have a drink within that time, you got a problem. Yeah, you do. Definitely. Man, you got, man, I spent so much time out here, man. It, it, the job takes all of your attention. So I don't even get why you trying to, you know, I get every, like, everybody has their thing or something that they do, but I, I, them two things don't match. Drugs and 18 wheelers don't match. Yeah, drugs. Alcohol and alcohol. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. They don't they really don't. You you gonna have mm-hmm. to find other ways to. That's why I say, how are you in a truck? You're not learning nothing. You're not you're not picking up a hobby. You know what I'm saying? Y'all you're driving the most beautiful places in the in the in the country. Y'all ain't got no camera. I like, I can look at them motherfucking and tell them they ain't they ain't got nothing to them. I got DSLRs. You ain't got no camera set up. You flying around eagles and condors and shit in L.A. You ain't got no no cameras. You ain't got no. You hobby. up in the mounds? You walk in the mound like you up in the mound. You you up like by. Was it the Hood River? That is like the most beautiful place. Like you don't, right. you ain't taking footage of none of this stuff. None you just, they, so you they just don't even to, stop. They just on the truck. They just on the truck, just driving and going from vagina to vagina, losing their money. And to me, yep. it's just, it's just it, the while it gets stupid. My thing was when I was free and willing to be, you know, <laughs> chicks was getting me hotels, but I won't spend that kind of money like that. They was, oh, I want to see you, so I'm, I'm about to come get you from the truck stop and get you a hotel. Like it was. But I've always gone at a different level of female because of my the level of my conversation. That you one of them you, ones, TB. You one of them ones. Yeah. I hate to say it, but it's facts. When you talk to me, you know from jump, I'm not with no cooning. That's another thing too, because I I will not hit some coochie if you're a coon. I don't play that shit. Okay. So if you a jigaboo, and you come up to me with a lace front, it's not gonna happen. Not going. Yeah, uh, if you come up to me too in the fashion, if you're too in the fashion, it's gonna turn me off. I don't. I don't want to see you with like freaking, you know, Louis Vuitton slippers on. I think that's so disgusting, bro. It's just mm-hmm. disgusting because it's like, who you doing that for? We drive trucks, bro. What we doing that for? I be seeing them at the truck stop. They be boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Looking, you know, like they in a rap video, yeah. necklace, chains on. I will be like, bro, this ain't even that, man. This, it ain't there's no that. reason for that, bro. You should be in something comfortable. Yes, sir. And we we know that fashion stuff ain't really built for comfort. What are you talking about you in Dior thousand dollar Versace sneakers at the Fuel Island, bro? Why? Stepping stepping in diesel and DEF in them. Like, I mean, if you got it, you got it. But right. I don't be wanting to hear them cats that look like that and do all that complaining about how it ain't no money out here. When right. it's money out here, you just ain't you just ain't good with managing it. Yeah, you misappropriating funds. That's what yeah, you're doing. Man. It don't run into the crib every weekends. If you in the lease, if you a lease operator, I don't want to hear nothing about no off days and oh, I'm trying to get back to the crib. You running a business player? Like you yeah. wasting going to the crib? You wasting time and money, <laughs> and you making your business operate in the red. On top of that, like starting right. your week just to get some off time to start in the negative is crazy, man. I, I don't get that. Yeah, it just don't make, it don't make sense. It don't yeah. and everybody tried it for a couple and realized once you get burnt and realize you stop. Some people just don't learn, bro. They just do. You gotta stop, man. You gotta stop blowing your money on this stuff that ain't in fashion next year. You're gonna have to pick a style and stick with it. That's why all your uncles was out of style to you. Because they picked the style and they stuck with it. Because they knew I'm not about to keep blowing all my hard earned money on this shit. So now your uncle what? just pull up in work boots and, and jeans and he said, This is what he wear. That's it. Well, I wear these shirts and, and these uh, dicky pants, and I'm gonna drive this truck and this stuff. And when and when I do get off the road, then yeah, I got some stuff at home where I could change. I wouldn't even want to have that stuff with me, man. This right. I, I, you you forever outside in this truck. I don't care how good you sealed up in this truck, <laughs> your clothes gonna get dirty. You swinging the doors open. Yeah. So I wouldn't even want to have that type of stuff with me on this fifth truck, man. Grease. Oh my man. god, that fifth wheel grease will ruin some clothes, bro. Or sliding against a trailer, ripping shirts up. Like, I done did that too, man. 
That's a big one. Yeah. That's that flatbed. You will tear some stuff up in flatbed. That's a flatbed. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I ain't no flatbed guy. I'm in refrigeration, so you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm about to go back in the refrigeration, man, because you know, I just, I just feel like I don't, all the other ones. When you got to do something on the back of the truck, they be limited my range. And I'd be wanting to see mm-hmm. certain places and they'd be like, man, we don't go nowhere else. Nah, it's the whole place we go. Like, man, this our triangle. Yeah, <laughs> I, w- I want to see Seattle and Portland and, uh, you know, I want to see Vermont, bro. I want to see some shit. It's getting yeah. old, bro. Like, I see the same shit. Yeah, I do. I stay, I pretty much stay like in the Midwest and East. And yeah, I'm sick of it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm sick of doing the same thing, but I ain't sick of this money. I'm gonna keep running no. this truck until, until it run, I run it into the ground. Yeah, I mean, if it's working for you financially, you do what you had to do. But me, uh, like I told people, it depends on how long you can get money. I've been getting money for years. It don't do, mm-hmm. yeah, money. I, I'll say to say, money don't do what it used to to me. Mm-hmm. It's like I'll I need it. TB. I need a different kind of money. Right. It would have to be life changing level. But if I'm driving a truck and get thirty five hundred dollars, that don't feel out of place to me. It's yeah, like that's normal. Shit. That's not. That's not. I don't even need that no more. If the, it's now when I look at a job, it's comfort. Where is it going? Is there a camera pointing at me? Mm-hmm. You know, does it have a does it have an APU? And that's yeah. it. Refrigerator. I need. I, I want a refrigerator. I want to be able to put hook hook up my microwave. I, yeah. So you you look for those start certain things. Yeah, I, I can see that you want certain things in your unit. Right. But like with me, I, I like I said, it, it, it's catered. My situation is catered to me. Like everything is different for everybody. It might what work for me, not what might not work for the next person. Yeah, but, it depends on where you at in your life. That's why when you see them old heads being there, and those are the cats with the money, bro, they just yeah. stop because because they, it's not that they're getting more money. They stop giving the money out. There you go. They stop yeah. giving it away. Man, man. They get to a point where we. You know, my uncle used to pull up. He had a square front Oldsmobile, bro. I mean, it had the squeakiest startup, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then after maybe like two feet, then the, the belt will catch. And I used to ask, I was like, uh, why don't you get a new car? And he said, explain to me why I need a new car. And I said, oh, well, you know, it won't make that noise. He was like, man, this car gets me to work, home, and to some pussy. He go. said, that is all I need a car for. As yeah, long, the recipe. Yeah, as long, he said, as long as it cuts on, I ain't getting rid of it. And if it breaks down and I can afford to fix it, I'll fix it before I buy a new car. I said, well, the engine's going to blow. He said, an engine is cheaper than a new car. Smart that's, man. That's crazy work. Because when you think about it, it's like, like my minivan. I looked up how much an engine would cost. $1,500. $1,500. I can mm-hmm. get my boy to put it in for like five. So I can have a new, my brand new, I'll have a newish engine for $2,500. But if I try to go get this same van, the brand new one, it's 60 grand. Yep. So you have to everything right now. Right. Yeah. And the loans are too expensive. Is, yeah, I'm not paying $1,000, $1,200 a month for nothing. I'm sorry. You know, I can't do it. It's just, it just not worth it, bro. That's why when you get a chick that don't care, she just wants you to come home, beat the guts, and play Kiss and Faith, go home and play Kiss and Faith, bro. Yeah, just get, get out. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right. If that's all she wanted. That's all she demanded asking for you. I mean, we we making the money, so let's go on in the house and do right. It ain't hard. Uh, I, I know it's me talking about you know saying these things. I know I haven't lived my life that way for a long period of time. But yeah, man, go in the house and do what's right, man. Don't don't waste your money. Don't get have a whole bunch of kids out here running it up with child support. Then you then you you part of the the woman hater club because they out here you done did this to yourself. And they just want what they want, man. They want you to take care of your child. Period. Mm. We ain't third no way. That's the, <laughs> the the money is the least you could do. You could give them some money. You ain't third no way. A oh, phone call ain't nothing, man. That don't matter. That don't matter. Yeah, I mean that's real shit, bro. You, the least you could do is you know, you keep a job, pay what you got to pay. And go from there. But I appreciate you, Dave. No one ever said nah, no yet, So I got I got to go. We about to hit two hours, bro. I gotta get out of here. I, I got you, big dog. Have a good day, brother. Stay up. Uh Brian, I don't know why you in here. You know the drill with you. So it's gonna be a no play, boy. 250 to the PayPal for that. Yeah, I'm Audi 5000, man. I'm trying to do better. You feel me? I hope you enjoyed this. 
Hope you understand. Go to the new regime. Patreon. Sign up, support the channel. Thanks to everyone who hit the cash app. Let me talk to everybody in the cash app. The top person in the cash app right now is Dominique. Second to the top is uh, Latanya. Wendell, I appreciate the love. Adam, I appreciate the love. Tommy, I appreciate the love. Terrence, I appreciate the love. Mr. Ugly, I see you. You understand? I see you. The last people who got into the TB Uncut, Rumble.com, is ERI2023, MMEN Fields, Eric, 1234, Zippo are the last people who sign, who basically just follow the TB Uncut Rumble. Why Rumble? Because when YouTube gets tired of me and get rid of me, that's when I'm going to be on Rumble. When we say stuff we're not supposed to say, Rumble lets you say whatever you want to say. It's a freedom of speech platform. I appreciate you. I am live on Twitch right now. Uh, I appreciate y'all don't do drugs. <sighs> Just try to do better, man. Appreciate all the support given. Don't do drugs. I'm out of Saudi. Where's my button at on? I can't find it. Special thanks to Corey Wilson. Just signed up for the Patreon. He will get be able to message me directly. He also will be able to see videos before they come out. Weeks, sometimes months before they come out. Also, we're at TB Uncut. We're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what Rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech, where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed the live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for Rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TV Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it.